This is my backyard. Hey, it's important to me. I'm disenchanted with what I see. 15 years ago, where I'd be standing would have been wet. So this is four feet below the historical average. You could walk out 1,200 feet unexposed. Correct. Four football fields. The problem is the water levels. The lakes in the spring of 2013, Lakes Michigan and Huron reached their lowest water levels in recorded history. And while they have slightly recovered since, it was a clear warning about the vulnerability of this precious natural resource. Dredging projects of the past have permanently lowered Lakes Michigan Huron. My family's been connected to the Great Lakes for generations. Sometimes we took for granted the largest body of fresh water on the planet and never expected this. Visualize a gallon. That's all the water in the world. Take a tablespoon. That's the amount of fresh water, and 18% of that tablespoon is the Great Lakes. In our lifetime, demand for fresh water will increase exponentially, while the worldwide supply continues to diminish. And the people that rely on the Great Lakes for their livelihoods are already experiencing the stress of lower water levels. We're losing our way of life. The problem is more pervasive than what they're admitting to. We've got an increase in the drain, and now we've got climate change playing a role too. What's gonna to happen to shipping? We have to look at the economic impact. When you have ships and they're having to carry less product, we're gonna see the effects of that, and we have. This transformation to record lows over the last 14 years has been disastrous. It'll start looking like the Aral Sea. The Aral Sea, very much like Lake Michigan, subjected to an environmental disaster that drank it dry. We should never allow what happened in Kazakhstan happen in the United States. We lose this harbor, we lose the local economy. We probably call this a ghost town. In the United States, in comparison to Europe, we're creating problems. In Europe, they recognize, in many respects, you gotta modify the physical forces. We have to take our lead from the rest of the globe where they use engineering solutions. It's like building Lego blocks as a kid and playing with water. Uh, that's what you do here. Do you have an average cost of a project? Yeah, they're like 100,000 euro kind of experiments. Why did the Army Corps of Engineers not have that expertise in-house? It can be solved, this water crisis, but you need to have the political will to do it. An innovation, per definition, would be somewhere outside of somebody's box. How long is this going to go on for? And how bad is it going to get before we decide to act responsibly? If only people knew there was something to be done, maybe they would do it.